Right now, dozens of streets are shut down in Richmond as more than 14,000 runners get ready to hit the pavement for the Richmond Marathon. Thanks so much for joining us here on the news at 5 o'clock. I'm Bree Season in for Julie. Yeah, lacing up those tennis shoes tonight. Uh, here's a look at the course map for you. Roadways like Schrediger Street, Broad Street near Arthur Ashe Boulevard, and parts of Hermitage Road are all closed. The closures also extend to parts of Monument, Sims, and Forest Hill Avenues. Some of these closures will be in place until tomorrow night. Our Cameron Thompson joins us live for more information on the marathon's in-person return to city streets after going virtual in 2020, Cam. Yeah, and Bree Leland, ex organizers are excited to be able to bring back the in-person race as we overlook the finish line here at Browns Island. But as they tell me, there still are some signs that we are in the midst of a pandemic. It's exciting. I don't know if I'm prepared or not, but it's a pretty exciting. With less than 24 hours until they hit the course, runners come to the Richmond Raceway to pick up their bibs and shirts for Saturday's Richmond Marathon. We were super excited that they were going to be back live this year. A race that returns somewhat to normal after last year the pandemic pushed it to be a combination of virtual or spread out over 16 days in Dory Park, something that can't compete with the real thing. It was running through the trails, not a lot of crowd support. I, it made me really appreciate the stags and the water stops and the the crowds and everything of the actual marathon. Race organizers expect over 14,000 runners in either the marathon, half marathon or 8K and say while they are back on the streets of Richmond, there are still some COVID precautions in place, such as masks for water volunteers and events like Fridays being held outdoors. We're all used to it. We've all been dealing with it for a while now, so it's just part of being able to put on events like this. And of course, with a return to the roads means a return to road closures around the city. Those started Thursday morning and some run until Saturday evening. While for those getting ready for the race, these women from South Carolina share what they're most looking forward to. Finishing. <laughs> what what times are you hoping to finish at? Anything that starts with a four. It could be 459, 59, and I'll be happy. And for Austin Curry, it's tying her shoelaces and then tying the knot. I'm running the Richmond Half Marathon, which is my favorite race of all time, and then I'm getting married in the afternoon. Curry says the wedding date was picked first, but when the marathon was announced, she had to make both work, and her fiance will be there cheering her on. And even after 13.1 miles, she's not worried about a few more feet down the aisle. Yeah, I, I'm going to have one parent on one side, one on the other, and it'll be good. Now, switching back to the impact of the pandemic on this race, uh, organizers do say, unfortunately, they do not have the medals to hand out to runners when they finish the race. Despite placing an order for them earlier than normal, they didn't get shipped in time. They say they will still have hats and blankets to hand out to the runners, and they'll get those medals to the runners when they themselves eventually do grab hold of them. 